exactly. So that that kind of bring that that brings us to the to the 2003 mission. So yeah, you know, you had your you had your time. You 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 supported Southern Watch, and you you had a good deployment there. You came home. You went to Afghanistan, and and really those second deployment. That's when your aperture starts opening up, and yeah, you know, it's it's maybe the outside looks different. Sometimes, you know, especially during GWAT, you look outside your window and sometimes there's mountains and desert. And then sometimes there was just desert. So that just, yeah. that would tell you which country you, you deployed to. But, you know, this time you, you found yourself in Iraq. What did, uh, in, in what status did you deploy at the beginning of that deployment? Were you a flight lead? Were you in a leadership position or, or were yeah. you, I hate no, to say I just, just a pilot. But. I was just a wingman. Um, you know, <laughs> at, at this point we had spent um, some time in Afghanistan and then we, our unit turned very quickly to pivot to Iraq. So we came home from Afghanistan um, and our unit wasn't actually the one that was supposed to go. It really should have been our sister squadron. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure what happened behind the scenes. I was just a wingman, uh, but we were, we were selected to go again. And um, my husband happened to be in the sister squadron. So this is a long-term discussion for us. <laughs> so this is right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we were selected to go again and, uh, you know, I think we were all, that's what we wanted. You know, we wanted, like, if there was a war that was going to happen, we wanted to be there because we knew we could make a difference and we can make an impact. And so we left late February, landed in Kuwait, March 1st. And, um, you know, it, it was very apparent to me that this was different than the first time I landed in Kuwait because, there were aircraft that I, mean, I think we were the last day tans a tends to show up on the ramp mm -hmm. and there were just aircraft as far as we could see. I mean, it was just this wall to wall of a tens and rescue helicopters. And it was just, it was a huge buildup. So I think at that point we knew that this was different. Uh, Iraq was different. The threat was different. Um, so much so that our squadron commander had us write notes home to our families before we could fly. Like if we didn't make it, there was at least a letter that he could deliver to our families. So, uh, yeah, that put things into perspective pretty quick. That's tough. How, how did you feel about that? Uh, you know, it's one of those things you're like, well, I guess I, I got to write it, you know, because right, you know, yeah, right. otherwise you're not going to fly. So um, I still have the letters. I oh, wow. Read, I haven't read them. I don't know. I don't know if you should. Yeah. I don't either. You know, I, uh, yeah. you know, I didn't have kids at the time. So I wrote a letter to my parents, a letter to my sure. daughter, and a letter to my husband. But uh yeah, I think it was just like, okay, knock this out, get this done so I can fly. But uh, you try not to dwell on the potential reality. You, I think you prepare for it, but you don't dwell on it. And then it's you move so on. <laughs> yeah, it's a sobering reality. And oftentimes we'll get DMs of people. I, I answered one the other day where, you know, a young, a young man was, was asking me, said, hey, you know, I, I've always wanted to serve in GWAT. GWAT's over. I don't know if I... I don't know if I want to serve anymore because I can't serve in that capacity. I really want to go to war. And mm -hmm. at this point in my life, I'm like, Hey, my friend, that is, that is not a thing. Like no. we, we do not wish for war in this thing. No. We're happy. You know, I'm proud of my service in GWAT and I'm proud of the deployments I've had, but I wouldn't, uh, if there was one thing that I could turn off like King for a day, yeah. we wouldn't go to war. We wouldn't have done yeah. it. But uh, I totally it, agree with you. It, when it happens, you want to be a part of it to support your brothers and sisters, like to do your job. But I wouldn't, no, I don't, you know, wish for it. It's, uh, that there's too many, too much bad associated. With yes, ma'am. Perspective <laughs> of wisdom. We'll call it that. Yeah. So 